Hello everyone and welcome back to episode number three of the mod showcase series that I've been doing on my channel and in this episode I have some more modded vehicles to show you guys as you see and uh, by the way just just ignore that thing in the background don't don't even worry about it but I promise you guys one of these future episodes will be something other than cars because I have been seeing a few comments about that but as usual let me know what other cars and, and everything in the comments like what other mods you want to see but starting all off as you see here we got the bugatti and like the adder is cool and everything but you, you really can't beat the actual car this thing is so beautiful and there's actually a few different versions of this car which i couldn't figure out how to get it working which is kind of weird but there's a convertible version and there's a version in which the spoiler in the back it, it goes down Supposedly, I think that spoiler is supposed to work like the uh, the T20, where like when you go fast, it goes up. But I haven't really tested that yet. But we got this uh, the black and orange. I think that's like one of the best colors for the Bugatti. But man, oh man, look at that! So so nice looking. And uh, here is the interior. As you can see, it, it's kind of convertible a little bit. I think you can make it uh, closed in, like I said though. And we got the interior. Now, this one is a little bit more done. The mirrors still need some work. As you see, there is no mirror there. Uh, but, you know, for the most part, it's really good. And let's go ahead and door. Can you open? The door's not opening. Okay. Oh, my God. All right. So, maybe there's some uh, some issues with the doors. I, I okay, Well, I don't know what's happening. But there's the inter interior. Yeah. There's a, some textures missing there. But for the most part, I think it looks really good. But look at that, man. Like, come on. Bugatti. Look at it. So nice. The front is definitely the best. And there's actually, uh, as usual, I'll link all the mods. I think I'm using a mod because the, the guy who made this, the, the model, uh, he didn't change, like, the, the headlights or something and the taillights. So I actually had to download the new mod to change both of those to make them, I guess, look a little bit better. But, yes, this, this car definitely is amazing and uh you guys know the drill we're gonna go test it out on a ramp all right so we're up here and this is actually a new ramp that i wanted to try out this is actually from another youtuber ali 43 if you guys have ever watched him it's actually a really impressive ramp like it's a it's a straight vertical one as you can see but it's got like a little angle so you actually land on it and then you go flying but real quick before I go down there, just because, I don't know, maybe you guys in the comment section can help me. And I, I'm sure uh, you, you might have already seen it a little bit and you're sort of wondering what's the deal. But ever since the last update, there's like these little micro stutters on, on PC. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but like when I go around the car and stuff, it, I don't know, it just stutters. And it's it's really aggravating. And I don't know what's causing it because I'm, I'm at a solid like 100 frames per second. Uh, up here and it's not dropping or anything it just stutters so if any of you guys in the comment section either have that problem let me know and if there's a way to fix it please let me know because I'm sure you guys don't want to keep seeing stutters in the videos but all right baby here we go oh my god we're going down okay can we land can we land on the freaking thing come on you can do it I can't see no oh god first person oh my god Woo. oh shit there's a freaking plane god dang it plane can't you see the giant ramp here oh my god all right guess we gotta do it again all right let's try this again let's try this again all right we're just gonna stay in third person even though we can't see i will believe in that we're going the right way come on i see the booty oh look nice close-up of the uh <laughs> of the car there's another freaking plane oh we missed it Woo! let's go Woo! Doing a black flip, a backflip. That's racist. Anyway, YOLO! Land it! Land it! Oh baby! Perfect landing. And we hit a pole. Oh man. Look at that beauty. But yeah, that is the uh the Bugatti Veyron. That's even how you say it. I, I never really know. Is it Veyron? I think that's the the correct way to pronounce it. The grand sport edition, but yeah. Oh look at that. Just look at that. The backside. And then the front side. Ooh, so nice. So nice. All right, so the next car that we have is the 2013 Ferrari La Ferrari. 
And this is uh, the model from Forza Horizon 2. And this actually replaces the Turismo. And I, I didn't think I need to mention it, but if you didn't know, the, the Bugatti, the one behind me uh, right there, that one actually replaces the Adder, obviously. But uh, this is another beautiful looking car. I showed you guys the another Ferrari in the last episode. And this one, this one looks just as good, man. The rims look amazing. Let's go into first person here. You can see, oh, it's got the uh, the seats. That's really cool. The top's all textured out, and my game just crashed. Well, we'll be right back. All right, so we're back in, and uh, as you can see, here's the interior. It's got the, the nice white, obviously, like I was saying, the seats, the red. You get, like, the carbon fiber. The mirrors, unfortunately, they don't work. However, this is actually the first car that the speedometer works, so that's actually really awesome. <laughs> and what's kind of cool, it tells you, like, the temperature of everything uh, I don't think that actually means anything but it's pretty cool but yeah this there's a little bit of clipping as you can see up there but for the most part like and as you can see the hand placement works here is the uh, let me get out the door works as well but look at that honestly this looks I, I, I don't know I think this one looks better than the uh, the Bugatti that we had over here at least in terms of like interior and just all around uh, I guess, you know, finishness, that's a word. But yeah, look at that. Man, that looks so freaking awesome. Oh, God, I love these modded cars, man. Honestly, I, I don't know if you guys are, like, the same way, but, like, the cars in GTA, that's, like, what makes the game for me. Like, driving around, customizing them and everything, and just look at that, man. Like, that, this is what mod, this is why I love mods. But, we're gonna go ahead, take it on the ramp, see if we can do anything special with it. All right, boys, we're back up here at the top. And God, this car looks so freaking nice, man. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Come on, land it. Get on the freaking ramp. Get on the ramp. Come on. You can do this. All right, baby. Can't see at all, but it's all right. We're going to go. Come on. We're almost at top speed. Oh, my God. Oh, yo. Oh, if we landed on the FIB building, that'd be insane. We don't have enough speed, though. Let's do this. Can we land it? Land it. Land it, land it. No, 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 no. Oh, perfect. Perfect. God, does this car just look so nice? But uh, yeah, man, that is the uh, the other Ferrari. The Ferrari. What is it? Left La Ferrari. God, man. God, man. That's so pretty. And then finally, this last car that I have to show you guys is the Skyline from Too Fast and Too Furious. This is Paul Walker's car, as you can see. It's got the silver and the blue. That's actually a paint job, by the way, but the actual car itself, um, you can get it without the paint job. But again, I'll leave all the mods and everything in the description. And this this is one of my favorite cars. I know it's not as flashy as like the Bugatti or the, the Ferrari that we just did, but the Too Fast and Too Furious, I don't know if, about you guys, but that was like one of the first movies that I, I saw that I kind of started to appreciate cars more. And obviously this was like, this was like the coolest car and i would try to recreate this car and like need for speed underground and like all those old racing games back in the day but yeah and let me go ahead and show you guys the interior here it's fairly simple there's the back the mirror has a little bit uh a little bit of an issue there the hand placements do work though let me go ahead and get out so you can see it a little bit better I mean, again, it, it's nothing too flashy, but this car just, I don't know, it's just, it's such a, a nice car to have, man. And obviously we all know what happened to Paul Walker, so it's a, it's a pretty good tribute. All right, so we're up here and one last ride for Paul, baby. Let's do this. Let's make him proud. Come on, baby. Okay, we're going too fast. Okay, come on. Stick it. Hold it. Hold it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whoa! Oh, no. Oh, my God. Dude, we're... We almost freaking... Oh, my God. We are... Oh, no. We're so... Oh, dude. We almost landed in the freaking FIV building. Oh, look at that. We landed it. Yeah, well, we're stuck. Here, let's get unstuck real quick. But, uh... Yeah. There you guys go. Sorry, lady. 
<laughs> anyway, see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Again, man, all the links to everything will be in the description. And if you're wondering what the hell that thing... Uh, it, I don't even know if you can see it because you can't see it from far away. But the uh, the thing that is like flying around, that's actually a blimp retexture. And I'll go ahead and link that in the description as well. I just thought I'd add it because it'd be kind of funny just to see this giant ass monster. But uh, yeah, see you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Drop a like if you did enjoy it. And let me know what other mods you want to see. And as always, it's your boy Saints fam. I'm out. Peace.